And I know that you don't care about all of videos, but I don't care either for what you care, plus it is one of my favorites open source projects. First of all you can download app images with daily builds, and I will link on description to try yourself the best interface ever created on a video editor. Like seriously, that's the smartest app interface only behind the godlike blender. Anyway, let's push a clip to the timeline and leave Olive to auto create the sequence settings for now. Hum, let me go somewhere with more action, possibly somewhere here. And so, since today we have a new transform node that is automatically added to our clip, and it has position rotation scale and all the common properties we expect. With the node selected we can go to the parameters editor. Oh, by the way! On any view you can press the key above the tab to full screen it, similar to Adobe. So back to parameters editor, and since my last video the keyframes also work now. Also, check out how awesome the scale buttons work with holding click down and pushing. Meanwhile in GIMP 3 and GTK 3, that still sucks big time. And Olive actually does that even better than Blender. I'm so really really happy for the progress of this project. I'm even actually paying for it. So imagine that. Anyway, let's play it! You gave me nothing at all, but still you in my way, I beg and borrow and steal I have And now you see that caching is still bugged, and the point is that all of 0.2 isn't really ready for use today. But it has awesome development, so we have nothing to worry about. 